We're here in Thessaloniki at the Nanotechnology Conference. And hi, so who are you? Hello, I'm Barbara Karagiozaki. I'm a CEO of the company BL Nanobiomed. It's a nanomedicine company that is here in Thessaloniki in Greece. This is a company that is a pioneer and, uh, in uh, how we can apply nanotechnologies in order to deal with unmet uh, clinical hurdles. I mean, uh, we focus about uh, to develop nanoproducts uh, that can be used in order to treat cardiovascular disease, in order to treat uh, um, regeneration of tissues, target drug delivery, so all types of nanoproducts in order to improve uh, health uh, of the patients. So what is going on here in the TV? What is it about? So it's about using nanotechnology in the bio, in the healthcare? In, uh, yes, in healthcare sector. So we develop nanoparticles, different types of nanoparticles, either inorganic ones, such as gold and silver for a microbial surface, or we can uh, produce the biodegradable nanoparticles for drug delivery because we want the drug to enter into the human body, to cross the biological barriers in order to treat specific diseases such as cardiovascular disease, osteoarthritis, cataract and uh, uh, skin uh, disorders. So how far in the future is this? Uh, we have already we are, uh, developed our nanoparticles and uh, so somebody can uh, buy such kind of nanoparticles who can make also custom-made uh, solutions to, to deal to how, we, for example, we can advance the medical implants. So we have a drug delivery nano platform that can release different types of drug in a sustainable and controllable manner to coat different types of uh, implants, such as surgical implants, such as cardiovascular stents, orthopedic tools. Uh, so the scope of this company is to apply nanotechnologies uh, for health. And hi, and who are you? Hi, I am Zana Hakim. Uh, I'm going to describe the main idea behind uh, nanocosmetics. Uh, so we incorporate uh, uh, biocompatible and biodegradable nanoparticles into uh, conventional cosmetics. And uh, in order to create innovative nanocosmetics, so our products uh, contain mainly herbal uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and uh, moisturizing agents encapsulated into um, a variety of nanoparticles, uh, which uh, provide uh, penetration into deeper skin layers, uh, maximizing anti-aging and uh, anti-wrinkling effects. So uh, here, you, you, here you talk about some of the the stuff that has to do with the. So, so nanotechnology is going to be part of the cosmetics world. Uh, yes. So this is the main idea. So and it, we can see here, for example, nanoparticles. That uh, these are uh, nanoparticles, and these are uh, the tools, the atomic force microscopy, by we can see the nanoparticles. And we put uh, the oxidants and uh, herbs and natural compounds uh, into the nanoparticles in order to enter the deeper tissues of the skin, in order to have better penetration of uh, the nanograms into the dermis of uh, the skin. It, as Susanna explained, can explain And this is a more. totally new kind of cosmetics or? Yes, yes, it's a new field of cosmetics, innovative ones. Before it was just uh, basic creams and stuff, yes, and now? Yes, yes, and serums, but now there are nano creams and nano serums. So they contain nanoparticles, biodegradable ones, because we don't want to have toxicity. But the advantage of them is how they can penetrate, they can penetrate, uh, penetrate uh, the epidermis into deeper skin layers like dermis. And uh, yeah, here you're talking about uh, so uh, this is your 3D pr bioprinter. What is this bio sensors and IoT sensors? Yes, we have a 3D bioprinter. By this, we can make a 3D implants. Uh, we want to resemble the organs and the native tissues. So how we can bioprint the implants, the three-dimensional three implants. We also develop in a BL nanobiomet the biosensors. Combined uh, with organic electronics, we can develop a flexible biosensor at the low cost and mass production in order to detect different types of diseases. This is an example of how we can detect a heart attack. If a patient had a heart attack, by this biosensor we can detect it. So different types of products, nanoparticles, nanoscaffolds, 
nano, nanotechnology enabled implants, nano cosmetics are the main products of this company. So uh, maybe can we go and, and check the, the bio the yes. bioprinter right here? Um, could you maybe uh, sit right here? Can you try to explain? Um, this is part of what you do. You use? Yes, we use the bioprinter. Right yeah. Maybe you can sit there so I can hear. What well, you feel? Uh, so we use the the bioprinter to. Yeah. You want me to? No, no, just sit, just sit. Yeah. So. You use so the bioprinter to do what? To, uh, we use the bioprinter to print uh, to print uh, skin analogs. Uh, so we print uh, fibroblasts for the dermis and uh, keratinocytes for the epidermis, and uh, we mature the construct. And then we use the skin analog to test our cosmetics, our nano cosmetics, so that uh, that they are safe uh, in order to uh, go out to the market. So. How does a 3D bioprinter help for the nano cosmetics? Uh, so uh, I told you we uh, print tissue analogs so that we can uh, do in vitro testing uh, because, uh, as you know, in Europe, in, uh, by 2009, uh, in 28 countries, it's been uh, forbidden to use animals for uh, cosmetic testing. So we create those uh, epidermal and dermal uh, dermal analogs to test our cosmetics. And uh, what's the other potential future with this kind of technology? Uh, we can uh, print other uh, tissue analogs like uh, vasculature uh, and uh, do drug screening and uh, basic uh, regenerative medicine research. So at this conference, there's a lot of talk about uh, uh, nano uh, nano medicine, medicine right? Yes, yes. And uh, so with the bill, um, with the uh, with this company, you're. You're aiming to bring all this to the market? Yes, this is our scope in how we can translate the nanomedicine research into clinical products. And that's why we produce such kind of innovative nanomedical products to treat the major um, diseases. And what's next? Uh, is, uh, this is a company here in Thessaloniki, right? In yes, Greece? yes, in Greece. But what's in next? What's the potential? What, what, how you can develop in the future? Yes, Partnerships this is a, or? Yes, of course, we need the strategic partners. Uh, of course, some of the products we are going to enter into different markets all over the world. And uh, we want, uh, of course, the partnerships with other strategic uh, companies in order to get them go uh, uh, with high rate uh, in the market.